friends, welcome back to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are doing a pick a card based on the questions that you may have about your financial future. Depending on what you are trying to achieve or what is currently going on in your life, it's going to be different for everybody, I think. So this is a little bit more of an open-ended question that I'm going to leave to you. So if you are, you know, having struggles with, you know, that maybe you need to go back to work or, you know, you're worried about your unemployment, you want to start your own business, anything that you're worried about financially, you can ask and really uh, meditate on that question. So before we jump in um, to the cards, um, I'm going to show you the crystals and everything we have. So for pile number one, we have a spear of uh, jasper. For pile number two, we have a piece of selenite. And then for pile number three, we have a chunky piece of crystal quartz. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to really meditate on which crystal is speaking to you and, um, you know, really think about your question, repeat it over in your mind a few times, and we will go ahead and jump into the cards. I also have my pendulum. We might do that if, you know, any of the cards are left a little bit open-ended. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to really think about it, and then you could go ahead and jump down to the timestamps down below for your pile. Welcome back, pile number one. Uh, before I jump into the cards, I just want to remind you to please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and lets me know if you guys like these type of questions that you're asking. And also leave me a comment down below if there are any questions that you would like me to ask the cards, okay? So again, this is if you chose the Jasper Sphere. I'm going to put that off to the side. And we will check out what's going on with you, pile number one. So Moonlighting, Beauty. We have Four of Wands reversed, High Priestess reversed, Strength, and Three of Pentacles. So let's gonna kind of scoot those out of the way for a second. Really look at the tarot first because this is a really great pull in my opinion. Very interesting. Let's see. Okay. So with Three of Pentacles, that represents being very successful, you know, doing very well in life, and also along with strength. Those are two really great uh, cards to pull together because that's signifying that you are going to be successful. Um, you are going to do very well in whatever you have in your mind. So what I'm seeing here is that, you know, you are probably wanting to start a business or start doing something where you are you know, going to have to work hard to make money, but this is something that I'm going to see that you're successful at. Maybe you're looking for, you know, a newer job and you really want to make more money. And so you're really looking for something that's going to bring really big finances your way and bring really great money your way. So what I'm also seeing is with high priestess reverse and also four of wands reverse is that you have been uh, not trusting of other people. You know, maybe you have had a business partner or someone who's let you down. Maybe someone stole money from you in the past. You're not really trusting and in going into a new endeavor. And so you're really kind of worried about jumping into something new. And so what I think is really interesting with the Moonlighting card coming in, um, it says you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Your dream career will take flight and fully support you. So what I'm seeing is, you know, maybe start working on whatever you're wanting to do part-time. Don't fully jump into it because it might be, you know, not so great and you don't want to, you know, leave your job because maybe the finances won't come immediately. I'm thinking that because you're, you know, not very trusting of other people and maybe not wanting to jump into something so quick, it's not the best idea to do it right this second, but you could work on a part-time if you have a side hustle or, you know, a creative endeavor that you're working on on the side, this would be a really good time to start working on it. So what I'm saying is that you definitely need to start working on your career on the side, you know, while you're doing your full-time job, just carve out, you know, time every day when you get home to work on it. So that moonlighting card is very interesting. And we also have beauty here. So what I'm seeing, um, you know, tying that into three of pentacles and strength is that, 
you will achieve what you want and it's going to be so beautiful and great when you actually do because it's something that you really want in life and it's something that's really you know tugging at your heartstrings something that you really want to do so it's going to be really beautiful and awesome when you get there so I really feel like with three of pentacles strength and beauty that you can really you know achieve your goals and be financially stable and really um you know achieve whatever you want because you definitely will get there so what i'm feeling though with high priestess especially high priestess reverse is that you just you know you're really worried about taking that jump maybe you have you know tried to do it before you know you have um you've been really uh reluctant to do something different and i think that you're ready to make that jump so I think that jumping into it full force might not be the best thing. That's why the Moonlighting card uh, comes in uh, handy right now. I feel like it's very um, helpful in uh, seeing, you know, which direction you really should go into. So I really feel like right now it would be great for you to work on it on the side. So, but I feel like you just really need to work hard and get there, especially with strength. That's like a very obvious sign that you're going to achieve your goals and that you are powerful and you are strong enough to do it and you have that motivation to do it. So that, and especially, you know, with moonlighting is really telling me that you just need to really work hard on your goals and you will get there financially. So, you know, I think that what it's t saying right now mainly is don't quit your main job because that might not be the best thing. I think that you want to work on this full time, but give yourself some time to work on it from home first and, uh, you know, give yourself some time to work on it part time and give yourself kind of that head start before quitting your job because you don't want to, you know, run out of money and have to go back to your job or find another job that you don't like. So I definitely feel like you can get there just give yourself time at home every day to work on it so we are going to ask the pendulum a few questions it just takes a second to get it to and i'm going to ask it a couple uh just basic questions so we can know that it's going good for us show me yes show me yes okay yes is back and forth show me no Okay, and no is a circle. Do I have a black cat? Yes. Do I drive a white truck? No. Okay. So for pile number one, will they be successful? Will pile number one be successful? Yes. Should pile number one jump into their dreams right now? Yes. Should pile number one quit their job? No, okay, it's starting to turn, okay. Should pile number one work on this full-time yet? No. Will pile number one be successful in their endeavors? Yes. Okay, so that's very interesting. I definitely, you know, agreed with the cards and, you know, agreed with the vibe going on. So I really do feel like you will be successful, pile number one. I think that you have a really beautiful... An amazing future coming up I would just really work on it part-time you know I know it's hard right now everyone's at home it's kind of feeling like a long vacation um, but you know really give yourself that time to work on what you really want because you don't want so much time to pass that you're going to regret it so really you know give yourself that time to work on it and you know work on things from home do whatever you can at home while you're working at your full-time job and on weekends really just put your effort into it but I really feel like with this strength card especially again I feel like that is really signifying that you will be successful and you will um, hit that money goal that you're looking for I think that you have a specific type of income that you want and you have a specific way of getting it what well, like I said whether a new job a business you want to start you know, maybe you want to do YouTube or something like that. I really feel like you're going to get there, so keep on working on it. So thank you so much, pile number one. I hope to see you soon. And again, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And always feel free to leave me a question in the comments if you would like me to ask. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.
Welcome back, pile number two. This is if you chose this beautiful selenite tower. So before I jump into the cards, I just wanted to remind you to please hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot and lets me know if you guys like these type of videos. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if there are any questions you would like me to ask, okay? So again, this is if you chose this beautiful selenite tower. I'm just going to set that right there and we'll see what's going on with you, pile number two. So we have patience. Unlimited Ideas, Four of Cups, Three of Cups Reversed, okay, The Tower, okay, interesting, interesting, and then Two of Swords Reversed. So let's kind of think about this for a second, kind of kind of glance at the cards a little bit. So what I'm seeing, especially with uh, Three of Cups and Two of Swords, is that you are very unhappy right now with your current status. You know, maybe you're at a job you really don't like. You're very miserable there. Um, especially with Three of Swords Reverse, I'm seeing that there's a lot of unhappiness. You know, maybe just the stress of the job is getting to you, or it doesn't challenge you a lot as a person, and so you just feel very stuck. You're not happy there you're not happy with your financial situation also which is a big thing you you know you're really just having a hard time where you're at in life because you're not making enough money you feel stressed out at your job because you're not you know getting what you want out of it maybe you feel like you're doing too much and not getting paid enough so i'm really feeling that you are very unhappy with your current financial situation and that's tying into your job because you feel very overwhelmed you're very stressed out about it and with the towers, interesting because that signifies change. It signifies, you know, you could see the man falling out of the building, that a change is coming for you and that you want that change to happen. So, you know, seeing, especially with these two, that you're very unhappy with your situation, you really want that change to come for you and you're kind of just like waiting for it. And so with Four of Cups, I'm seeing that, you know, and also with the Patience card even, I feel like they're really tying into this, is that... This is going to come for you, this situation that you want. You just need that patience and to really uh, work out your feelings and kind of decide what you want to do. You know, maybe go back to school and learn a different trade. You really want to get to a different financial situation because you're very upset with where you're at right now in life, money-wise. So I'm seeing with Four of Cups that you will get there and you will have you know, a really great financial situation, you know, you can move on to a better job, a better, uh, you know, life of, you know, all the money and the things you need, because I feel like you're not really able to provide the things you need with your current income, especially with these cards reversed, the uh, three of cups and two of swords, feeling that you're just really overwhelmed because you can't afford the things that you need in life. Maybe you need medical insurance, you have, you know, a family member that's sick, something like that, you're just not able to afford what you really need in life. So with four of cups, I'm seeing that you will get there, it will be a journey, um, as you can see, even in the artwork, there's like a cup flying away from the guy sitting there kind of meditating. Um, you know, you really are thinking of a better future and you will get there. It just requires a lot of patience and hard work. And with the unlimited ideas card, it says your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. So I'm seeing that you have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that you want to do. And I think that potentially your mind might be clouded because you are just so overly frustrated at your job. You're very angry. You're not happy being there. You just want to do something else. And so your mind is very cluttered with ideas you know maybe you have a lot of different things that you're thinking about doing but really take some time and have patience to you know overcome these obstacles really meditate on what you want out of life you know think about the type of life you want and how much money you realistically need to make to achieve that life and go from there you know you might have a passion to do a certain thing and you know maybe you need to go to school to obtain that so really focus on what you want and don't just go for another job because maybe it pays a little bit more or go 
for another job because you're so miserable at the one you're at now because I feel like you're just going to keep being miserable and you're constantly being stuck in a cycle which is also tied into three of cups you're tied into a cycle of you know um being unhappy and just not able to get out of this rut you're in so you know maybe you have jumped around from job to job a lot and you're just not really able to uh, get where you want to go so you know i'm seeing that you really just need that patience and you really just need to think about what you want and kind of tame down your ideas and really you know, also meditate and kind of give it up to the universe and help you just, you know, get, let the universe help you decide what you want. Really taking, you know, a few minutes a day to meditate and really think about things can really help a lot and really help clear your mind. So we are going to ask the pendulum a few questions. Um, I just have to ask it a couple basic questions to make sure it's acting right on me. And then we will go ahead and jump into your questions. Show me yes. Show me now. Will pile number two be successful? Will pile number two make the money they need? Is pile number two unhappy at their job? No, right, okay. Is pile number two ready to leave their job? Yes. Is pile number two ready to leave their job right now? Yes, okay. Should pile number two think about what they want to do first? Yes. Okay, so yeah, basically agreeing with the cards, saying that you should, you know, really think about what you want to do and really, you know, you want to leave right now, but I think it's a good idea for you to really think about what you want. Um, you know, you feel this change coming, you want this change to come, but I feel with, you know, Four of Cups, that's really telling you that something will happen, but you need to work hard to get there. So don't just, you know, take any old job just because you're unhappy at the one you're at. Really take time and think about what you want in life and work and you will get there and you will, you know, make the money you need and really, uh, you know, provide that future for yourself that you really want and, you know, get get there financially. So. Thank you so much, pile number two. I really appreciate you. I hope to see you soon. Again, don't forget to hit that subscription button. It really helps me out a lot. And also feel free to leave me a comment just saying hey or also any questions you would like me to ask. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Welcome back, pile number three. This is if you chose this chunky piece of crystal quartz. So before I jump into the cards, I just want to remind you to please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot and lets me know if you guys like these type of questions I'm asking. And also leave me a comment down below if there are any questions you would like me to ask, okay? So again, this is if you chose the clear piece of quartz. So let's see what's going on with you, pile number three. So we have peace. We have clearing debts. We have Knight of Pentacles, okay. We have the Empress reversed. We have King of Wands, okay, interesting. And we have Nine of Pentacles reversed. So let's just kind of look at the cards a second and think about it. Okay. So what I'm seeing with Nine of Pentacles is that you are very... Um, bad with money you know you potentially overspend you maybe have a lot of credit card debt and you really want to get out of that situation but what i'm also seeing with king of wands and knight of pentacles is that you most likely have a very good job you have a pretty good job and you are capable of you know having that life you want but you just really feel like you're very irresponsible with spending money you know maybe you eat out too much go on too many vacations something like that you really overspend so um, I'm seeing that you really, um, you know, you have a good job and you make decent money from what I'm seeing, or at least, you know, enough money that you're, you would be okay, but you just overspend and you just spend so much money. So, and what I'm seeing also with Empress Reverse is that you're very frustrated with the situation. You feel very angry at yourself that you're being immature and spending too much money. So that also, you know, ties in with this card, which is interesting to pull. This is clearing debts. Your self-care involves removing your the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. So, 
you already know, especially with, you know, this peace card, that you spend too much money and you have realized that. I think right now, too, with the coronavirus, a lot of people have taken a look inwards and seeing that they have, you know, certain problems that they want to fix. So I feel like you are making peace with the fact that you know you have a spending problem and you want to clear your debts. You just kind of have a hard time going about it and you don't really know what to do. So... I think that you really just want to get there, but I'm seeing with Knight of Pentacles as well as, you know, you know, having a good living and having a good job, I feel like you really need to just work hard to get there, you know, do the research and, you know, this card represents a journey, a long, hard journey, so I think that, you know, maybe do some research, speak with, you know, your bank or speak with a financial counselor in order to help you get to the point where you need, where you could pay off what you have to pay off and you could, you know, potentially have that money to put towards your life in a way that you want where you're not just, you know, paying all this money back for credit card bills or whatever you're paying off or, you know, even if you just go shopping or have a gambling problem, you're very you know, irresponsible with your money and you're tired of doing that. So what I'm seeing with Knight of Pentacles is that you will get there. It just takes a lot of work and it's definitely a journey. Getting out of financial debt is not easy and it takes a long time, but you will get there. Just give yourself that break and say, I know I've been, you know, doing, you know, not the right thing. I've had a hard time, but I want to be better. So this card really gives you that opportunity to, you know, self-reflect and see that you have a journey ahead of you, but you will get there. And especially with this clearing debts, it's showing, even with the artwork, you know, you can see this um, young lady riding a unicorn over a rainbow. It's very beautiful and serene and happy that you will just have this massive weight lifted off your shoulders after you get rid of these debts. They're really weighing you down, really making your life really hard. So I would really work on you know, getting rid of these debts, and you will find that peace that you want so badly. So we're going to ask the pendulum a few questions. I feel like your questions are pretty cut and dry, but I do want to, you know, ask just to double verify. So show me yes. Show me yes. Show me no. Okay, so yes is back and forth, and no is a circle. Do I have a white cat? Okay, yes. <laughs> Do I have a black car? No, okay. Will pile number three be successful in their clearing their debt situation? Yes. Will pile number three be able to save money? Yes. Should pile number three seek out help with what they need? Okay, yes, it's rocking pretty hard now. Will pile number three find that peace that they so much want? Yes, okay. So with your cards, I just want to say before, you know, we finish up here, I do want to say that even though you feel very hard about what you're going through, you have a very positive mindset about it you know that you're going to do better and this is just helping reaffirm it for you and also your cards are positive I think that with nine of pentacles it can seem a little bit overwhelming but it's just acknowledging that you have an issue so you can do better it's better to acknowledge it and do something about it instead of you know sitting and just letting the problem get worse and worse so even though you feel very overwhelmed by what you're doing and your problems that you're having you are taking the right steps to do better so, you know, you will get better and you'll find that, you know, that peace that you want so badly. So thank you so much, pile number three. I hope to see you soon. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And again, don't forget to leave me a comment if there are any questions beyond this that you would like me to ask about finances or anything. I'm always open to new suggestions and new ideas. So I hope to see you soon, pile number three. Have a great one. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video if you made it all the way here. I look forward to seeing you soon, and again, I want you guys to leave me comments and, you know, let me know what type of videos you guys want me to do. I have a lot of really fun ideas, but I won't know what type of questions you guys want me to ask unless you tell me, okay? So I will see you guys tomorrow with a new reading, and I hope you have a great one. Blessed be.